Welcome to Lynn Educational Television. I'm Afton Dean, bringing you the Lynn Classical Girls Basketball season opener as they host Somerville. And this is a new look Rams team as they've graduated three of their top scorers in Paris Wilkie, Jaylee Medrano, and Ariana Stelgado. So Coach Sawyer going to look to get some production from some of his bench players over the past few years. They have now moved into some starting roles. And then Somerville wins the tip on the loose ball, and we're underway. And first possession, first turnover for Somerville. The sisters, Skylar Creighton, Amber Creighton, Jean Gupton Morrison, Rebecca Walker, and Jasmine Massey round out the starting five for Classical. Good ball movement by Classical. They get it inside to Amber Creighton. She lays it up and in. Good start for the Rams. And that's a traveling violation. Nice pressure in the backcourt for Classical to force that turnover. Talia Casey, Caitlin Sealy, both at the guard position for Somerville to start this game. Elizabeth McEwen, Bridget Frazier, the forwards, and Jill Hutchinson starting at center. Pass deflected inside as they try to go back into Amber Creighton. Two possessions, Classical looking to go inside on both. Gupton Morrison with the steal. She has Walker with her. Walker misses the layup. Gupton right there for the putback. And Gupton Morrison draws the contact and she's gonna go to the line. And she'll be shooting two. Gupton makes the first. Under control. <laughs> Nets the second, two of two at the line. Skylar Crane with the steal. Walker in and out. That was halfway down. There's a bank at home, no luck. And traveling violation as Amber Creighton cuts off the baseline. Some nice defense from Classical to start this game. Minute and a half in, Classical leading it four to nothing. Creighton to Creighton, Amber to Skyler. I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot of that this season. And another turnover as the ball actually bounces into the trash can at center court right in front of us. Walker has to take it out of the trash can. You don't see that very often. And they quickly go to the double team inside on Amber Creighton. We'll see if they have a consistent approach inside tonight. Can't save it. Right to Rebecca Walker. Pulls it out. Resets the offense to the hands of Massey. And going to be Somerville ball. Starting five for both teams. Still intact. Two and a half minutes in. Good trap defense. Skylar Creighton with another steal. And she gets tripped up. Uh, 
Natalia Casey picks up her first personal. Team's second. Inbound pass right to Gupton Morrison. Got a good look. Fortunate to get the offensive rebound. And Skylar Creighton collects her second basket of this first quarter. Classical on an 8 0 run to start this game. Loose ball, and it's either going to be a foul or a jump ball. Actually, she got the timeout, so heads up play. And Somerville going to be able to preserve the possession as they call a timeout. And probably a good spot for a timeout anyway as they have yet to score in this game. Costco leading it 8 to nothing. So as I mentioned, Classical without three of their leading scorers from last year's roster. So a new look team. And a lot of these players are going to have to shift their approach to the game a little bit. It's no longer going to be a pass first, shoot second mentality. As Coach Sawyer going to lean on most of these players who played Bench roles last year were on junior varsity to come in and be impact players. But good start. Four points for Skylar Creighton. Basket for Amber Creighton and two from the line for Gene Gupton Morrison. And it's an 8-0 ball game. Amber Creighton has just checked out of the ball game. And Kayani Jordan is going to come in out of the timeout. Gupton Morrison with the steal. She goes coast to coast and lays it up and in. It is now a 10-0 ball game. Great trap defense, Kiani Jordan. And misses the left-handed layup. Classical has missed a couple easy ones in this first quarter. But their offense. Definitely feeding off their defense right now. And Yennefer Velasquez has just checked in for Somerville. Gupton Morrison along the baseline, draws the contact and she'll go back to the line. Looking to extend this classical lead. So season opener for both teams. Classical starting the season at home here in the Lynn Classical Gymnasium. And Gupton now three of three from the line. Make that four of four. She has six of the first classicals, the first 12 classical points. And there she is again with a steal. Finds Kayani Jordan. And Jordan doesn't miss that one. She grabs another steal. And they give it right back. Somerville unable to get any good looks at the basket so far tonight. Off the mark. Skylar Creighton with the rebound, up to Gupton Morrison, who throws it just out of the reach of Jasmine Massey. And thrown out of bounds. And that is a recurring theme here 
in the first quarter. Amber Creighton will check back in. Skylar Creighton will get a break on the bench. Creighton, a very productive first four minutes of this game. Four points, a couple steals. Morrison, looked like she got hit on the arm, no call. Somerville the other way. And offensive rebound for Jennifer Velasquez. Surprised they didn't get her for the over the top foul there, but air mailed from the corner. Somerville the other way, looking to get back into this game and cut into the classical lead. Off the side of the backboard, as Caitlin Seely tries to go baseline, denied. Rebecca Walker will head to the bench, and we will see Kiara Edmonds for the first time tonight. Keani Jordan, Jasmine Massey, Skylar Creighton, Amber Creighton, and Kiara Edmonds all out there for classical right now. Off the shoe tops of Kiani Jordan, it will remain Somerville ball. And they're gonna call a personal foul on Kayani Jordan. As she bumps Alita De Cruz. Thought about it. <laughs> and Alita De Cruz for three. Class go quickly the other way, not wasting any time. And Amber Creighton goes to the left hand. Hutchinson kicks it out. Can't bank it home. Amber Creighton leaving the charge once again and draws the contact. She continues to just put her head down and head right to the basket. Aggressive moves by Amber Creighton early on in this game. Rebound off the missed free throw. Score it. And she has a chance for a three point play. She completes the three point play. And she has seven points in this first quarter. And tally out another turnover for Somerville as we approach the one minute mark here in the first quarter. Jean Gupton Morrison, Rebecca Walker back out there, Jasmine Macy and Kayani Jordan to the bench. Elizabeth McEwen heads back in. Alita De Cruz heads to the bench. Actually, make that Yennefer Velasquez off to the bench. Yes. 
Little runner for Creighton. Creighton calling for the ball inside, quickly gets double teamed. Gupton aggressive on the glass. It's gonna be Somerville ball, but good aggression on the glass for Classical. Near steal for Edmonds. Can't save it. The classical bench likes it. Rimmed out, Amber Creighton with the rebound. Ahead to Edmonds. Walker misses another layup. And they're gonna get a foul. Charge the foul to Kiera Edmonds, her first, team second. Walker with the long rebound. Edmonds took a tough fall. She's up, fortunately. Gonna have to shoot it here and Walker just lets it run out. But Classical off to a good start. And they begin this game on a 22 to five run. And that's where we stand as we head into the second quarter. And we will begin the second quarter. Classical on top, 22 to five. Somerville having all kinds of issues taking care of the basketball in that first quarter. Classical back to their starting five to begin the quarter. Creighton's shot partially blocked. Hutchinson played all eight minutes in that first quarter. Back out there for the second quarter. She handles the ball for Somerville. They try to go inside. And another turnover, Classical will get the ball back. And the Somerville bench calling for defense. They could use a few stops here. Upton Morrison denied at the rim. Skyler Creighton with another steal. Shot halfway down. And they're gonna get Creighton with the foul. Some contact on the arm. And Alita De Cruz will be at the line. She has three of the five points for Somerville tonight. One of one from behind the arc. First free throw, no good. Uh, 
Oh, of two at the line. Foul doesn't hurt classical. Morrison off the mark from three. Out to Massey. Cross court to Gupton Morrison. And Somerville comes away with the loose ball. And we got a traveling violation on DeCruz. Massey will inbound. And Rebecca Walker will facilitate the offense. Pascal doing a good job making the extra pass on this possession. Jordan off the mark. And Skylar Creighton banks it home. And she's Classical's leading scorer right now with nine points. Creighton loses it out of bounds as she tries to make her move. Halfway down, in and out. Aggressive move to the basket. And Lindsay Valeri has just checked into the game for Rebecca Walker. Jordan misses the wide open three. And Coach Sawyer gonna call for the timeout. And looking to draw something up and extend this lead. 24 to five. Classical with a 19 point lead. And it has been all classical throughout this first half. Skylar Creighton filling up the stat sheet, nine points. And also been very active on the defensive end. Her and her sister, Amber Creighton, have combined for 15 of the 24 Rams points. Gene Gupton Morrison has seven points. And Classical well in control as we're at the halfway mark of the second quarter. We have four minutes in change left to play here in the first half. Walker inbounds to Massey. And a nice look for Valeri. And Kiera Edmonds a little up and under. She gets her first points of the night. 
Okay, we got a traveling violation. Somerville has yet to score here in the quarter. Classical not much, not much better. They've scored just four points, but well in control of this game. Massey ahead, looking to push it. Dishes it to Walker. And halfway down for Walker. Good look along the baseline. Classical getting some great looks. Jordan throws it away. of exchanges of the basketball right now. Turnover after turnover. Can't bank at home. Massey with the rebound. Classical looking to run. Valeri misses from three. And aggressively. Forces the jump ball. So classical back to the starting five, who I, who I would imagine will end the half. And even if it went in, Call off the basket and classical ball. Two minutes to play here in the first half. They go cross court to Morrison. And they're going to say Creighton moved on her pivot foot. And it'll come back Somerville's way. Classical showing that aggressive backcourt pressure. Somerville somehow gets it over half court. Wild shot under the basket. And Massey with the scoop shot. That looked like some Kyrie Irving. Count the basket and she'll go to the line. Acrobatic move. Free throw won't go down. Creighton with the miss. Defense! 
Massey wide open. Can't bank it home. Somerville with the long rebound and we got another traveling violation. 22 second difference between the game clock and shot clock. Somerville should get it back barring an offensive rebound. Massey well short. And Classical should get the ball back. Neo steal for Creighton. Hutchinson denied along the baseline. Good defense by Massey. Shot clock at 10. And Somerville can't do anything with it. 11 seconds on the clock. Massey has to shoot it. And Jasmine Massey for three. And time will expire here in the first half. And Classical head into the locker room with a commanding 31 to five lead. And we'll see you for the second half. And we return for the second half of play. Classical on top, 31 to five. Somerville was held scoreless in the second quarter. Classical able to open up a 26 point lead. And Gene Gupton Morrison for three. She now has 10 points on the night. And if she can hit that shot consistently, it will really open up the floor for this classical offense. Somerville answers right back. Eliza, Elizabeth McEwen, her first points of the night. Pretty good crowd on hand for Somerville. Amber Creighton continues to get double teamed. Creighton denied. Hutchinson loses it. Gupton the other way. Gupton has a step. And she goes to the left hand. Pasco staying with that pressure in the backcourt. Near steal for Walker. Somerville finally gets it over half court. McEwen short from the corner. Macy too strong. And they're going to call a jump ball. And possession will be Somerville. Gupton with some contact from behind. And that will be Gene Gupton Morrison's first foul. First foul for both teams as we move through the third quarter here. Creighton comes out of a crowd with it. Walker with the baseball pass up to Massey. That looks pretty similar to her at shortstop as she's the starting shortstop for the Rams softball team. Gupton Morrison gonna push it. 
And pulls it back out, resets the offense. They go cross court. Walker off the mark. Who but Jean Gupton Morrison there for the putback. And she goes untouched on the glass. Somerville has scored just three points since the first quarter. Shot clock winding down. And long rebound. McGowan can't save it. Lindsey Valeri, Kiara Edmonds, and Kayani Jordan will all Come off the classical bench, Walk, Rebecca Walker, Skylar Creighton, and Jean Gupton Morrison will get a breather. Massey at the point. Edmonds loses it. Somerville active on the offensive glass. And they come out of that possession empty. Up to Jasmine Macy, too strong. Valeri found her open teammate. And it'll be Classical's ball here. 3.55 left here in the third quarter. Massey into Creighton. Creighton right up, draws the contact, and she'll go to the line. Amber Creighton with six points. All of them coming in the first quarter tonight. And she was a big part of this team. Getting going on offense and has really jump-started the attack. Nets the first. Two of two at the line for Amber Creighton. Gonna get Valeri for a reach in. Nearly came up with the steal. Costco did a good job in defending the inbound pass. Kiani Jordan with a long rebound ahead. Finds Creighton and great dish. Jordan to Creighton. Glasgow doing a good job running the floor. Fast break points, advantage classical. And just over the head of Massey. And Rebecca Walker back into the game. Walker, Valeri, Amber Creighton, Kiara Edmonds, and Kayani Jordan on the floor for Classical. Hutchinson finds the bottom of the net for the first time tonight. 
Yeah, she's played a lot of minutes for this Somerville team. Amber Creighton takes on three defenders. And she'll be back at the line where she is three of four tonight. And as always, thanks for tuning in. Lynn Educational Television, home to all of your Lynn teams. O of two at the line. Channel 15, Comcast, Channel 36, Verizon. And if you have not checked out the new YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe. Lynn Educational Television. And Lindsay Valeri banks it home. And those are her first career varsity points. Good defense by Larry. Hutchinson gets hit on the arm. the glass for the first. And gets a friendly roll on the second. Four points on the night for Hutchinson. And great look inside, Valeri to Creighton. Hutchinson answers right back with the floater in the lane. Creighton did a good job getting ahead of the offense there. Had a step on the defense, but they overthrow her. And this shaping up to be a good home opener. If you're a classical fan, Edmonds with the steal. And not sure what happened. I'm not sure if it slipped out of her hands or what, but off 